House Baratheon was founded by Auris Baratheon, a general in the army of King Aegon I Targaryen, the founder of the Targaryen dynasty who conquered the Seven Kingdoms. Auris Baratheon was also rumored to be Aegon's bastard half-brother. He defeated Argilac the Arrogant, the last of the Storm Kings, and captured his castle of Storm's End. For his accomplishments, Auris was made Lord of Storm's End and founded House Baratheon. Auris took the sigil and words of the defeated House Durandan as his own, cementing his rule over the Stormlands by marrying Argella Durandan, the daughter of the fallen Argilac. Lord Robert Baratheon led a rebellion against King Aerys II Targaryen after his eldest son and heir, Prince Rhaegar Targaryen, ran off with Robert's betrothed, Lyanna Stark. Robert, who was backed by Eddard Stark, John Arryn, and Hoster Tully, slew Rhaegar at the Battle of the Trident, and King's Landing, the capital of the Seven Kingdoms, was soon afterwards sacked by Tywin Lannister in Robert's name. At the end of the rebellion, Ned Stark found his sister Lyanna in the Tower of Joy in Dawn where she died, in a bed of blood. With the last known Targaryens, Prince Viserys and Princess Daenerys, having fled across the narrow sea to the free cities of Essos, Robert ascended to the Iron Throne as King Robert I. He was wed to Tywin's daughter, Cersei Lannister, and thus formed the royal cadet branch house Baratheon of King's Landing. Robert appointed John Arryn as his hand. When Robert became the new king, he left his youngest brother Renly Baratheon, who was only a child at the time, to rule the Stormlands from Storm's End. Meanwhile, he appointed his middle brother Stannis Baratheon as the new Lord of Dragonstone. Dragonstone was traditionally the seat of the heir to the Iron Throne. This formed the cadet branch house Baratheon of Dragonstone, which was solidified by Stannis's marriage to Selyse Florent. This also made Stannis the liege lord of several minor outlying islands of the Crownlands which were in Blackwater Bay. This was seen as an insult to Stannis, who had failed to capture the last Targaryens at Dragonstone when he assaulted the storm-ridden island, as windswept and isolated Dragonstone was not as wealthy or prestigious as Storm's End. However, Stannis was a proven military commander and a loyal vassal of his experience was needed to reign in Dragonstone, whose lord ruled over the houses that had been the most loyal to House Targaryen. Renly and Stannis both served on Robert's small council as Master of Laws and Master of Ships, respectively. However, they were still referred to as lords rather than princes even after Robert's ascension to the throne, since they belonged to lower branches of House Baratheon. 